Hi, I'm Katie from Tandem Cairns, and you're watching Good Morning Cairns. Good morning, Cairns! Buenos dias, Cairns! Get this sun right. Good morning, Cairns! Good morning Cairns, it's Cam. As you can see today, I'm down at the Cairns Cruise Liner Terminal because tonight and all this weekend is the Cairns Indigenous Art Fair. And we'll be catching up with the general manager, Vanessa Gillen, very shortly to have an exclusive walk around the complex. But first, today's news. And how many times does it have to be said, don't drink and drive? Because you're putting yourself and everyone else on the road at risk of an accident or potentially dying. You know, just little things like that. When I was back in the Northern Territory, I heard of people getting arrested for being drunk on a skateboard and drunk on a horse. So any sort of vehicle, bad idea. But one 33-year-old woman was arrested recently when she stumbled out of a Trinity Beach tavern and drove off. Thankfully, there were some people around the area and they called the cops the moment they saw her get in that vehicle. Bad, bad lady. When the cops caught up with her, they did that breathalyzer thingamabob, and she came back with a breath alcohol reading of 0.266. That's more than five times over the legal limit. So she'll head to court on the 26th of this month. Hopefully she'll learn her lesson before she kills someone. The Cairns Post is reporting that the council is in talks to bring international test cricket to Cairns. They've just voted to strike a $45,000 a year deal with Cricket Australia over the next three years. And it has the potential to bring to our city some matches like the Cricket Australia 11 side game against Pakistan later this year, as well as the Queensland Bulls Sheffield Shield match next year, and potentially two international fixtures in 2018. And all the games will be played at Kazali Stadium. Nice and close to the CBD, I like it. And while the Cairns Post is reporting that nothing's been locked in at this stage, negotiations with Cricket Australia are continuing. And very good luck to local artist and musician Leanne Tennant, who's heading off on a tour next month. And Leanne's a real Cairns success story. She was recently featured on the Australian Rolling Stones website. Uh, she was also won the Queensland Music Award 2015 for Best Blues Roots category. And she was actually awarded an Australian Arts Council grant, which is helping her to do this tour. One of the songs on her recent album is called Bearing the Crown, and it was actually nominated for Song of the Year at the Queensland Music Awards last year. Take a look. Oh, my hand. So as I said, her tour of Australia's East Coast kicks off next month and it'll finish in September back here at the Tanks Arts Centre with a special performance just for us. Good luck Leanne, Cairns is behind you. Now let's find out what's on around town today. Now of course the whole reason we're down at the Cairns Cruise Liner Terminal is because of the Cairns Indigenous Art Fair and we're joined by the General Manager Vanessa Gillen. How are you Vanessa? Hi, good. Welcome Thank to the you. show. Thank you. So walk us through this place and okay. tell us a bit about it. Alright, so you're in Terminal 3 of the Cruise Liner Terminal, mm -hmm. which we turn into a fabulous curated art space. Mm -hmm. So if you have a look over here. Let's, let's go check it out. Let's, we have a whole lot of artists from Indigenous Art Centres all over the Cape. So this is Umbrella Studio from uh, Townsville that have joined us for the, the art fair. And as you can see, they've got some really amazing... These are crazy. Check these, it, get a close look at this. These masks. Isn't that scary? Goodness me. Wow. And it's a, 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 an easy price of $2,500 if you'd like to uh, purchase it. <laughs> <And> <laughs> so these are some very famous mm -hmm. Indigenous artists from, from up this way who have now sort of gone into the international and national sphere. Mm -hmm. Mavis Nalamata, who comes from... This woman? Yes. She comes from um, Arakoon, who's oh, wow. an extraordinary artist. She's won many awards. And then this is amazing work by Christian Thompson, who's a Queensland artist as well. Um, this is a new, whole new series of work by him. So this is the first outing here in Australia. Mm -hmm. While we're walking as well, Vanessa, what, what's happening tonight? Okay, tonight's the opening. Uh -huh. So you're getting the sneaky peek Ooh. because no one else is allowed in here Exclusive until... Exclusive on Good Morning Cairns. <laughs> no one else is allowed in here until... <laughs> Um, we get to 6.30 tonight. The gates open. Premier and the Governor are the first people that come through here and see all of this. Mm. This is Cape York Art, who are again um, a whole series of artists from here locally in Cairns. Mm -hmm. um, beautiful stuff, really contemporary, very different. You can see already in the three or four that we've seen, there's such a, diff a change. It's certainly not the traditional dot painting that we're used to yeah. seeing all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But dot paintings comes from the desert. Oh. See, I lived in Alice Springs for a while, so I'm very used yeah. to the dot painting. Yeah. <laughs> Tonight's opening night, big party here, fireworks, the whole thing, Ooh. really exciting. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow is so it's open, then it's available for everyone to come in tomorrow. And tomorrow night we've got the fashion. We've got two shows on tomorrow night, 6 o'clock and 8.30, and there are still tickets available. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. So it's local Indigenous designers, and then we've got 24 young people, Indigenous boys and girls who are not professional models, but who are taking to the catwalk. 
as professional models. We've actually got a quick preview of that from last week when they did the launch at Cairns Central. Take a look. I just want to show you yeah, this yeah. really amazing dugong around the corner. So this is from Pomparau. So Pomparau's oh on the east, east side of the Cape. Yeah. Um, and they've become really very well known for their ghost net sculptures. Uh -huh. um, so this is a dugong and its baby. Oh. Which is just beautiful. And there's an eagle there. Can right. You see the eagle? They go to the beaches okay. and they find all the big nets, the, mm -hmm. you know, the fishing nets that are just dumped over by fishing boats and wash up on all the beaches, kill all the wildlife, you know, all the sea life. Mm -hmm. They take them and they make them into beautiful, beautiful sculptures. Some people might know this. This is dogs, the Arakeen dogs, which yes. everyone talks about. They're quite, they're world famous, actually, these Arakeen dogs. This little <laughs> dude down here, he's only got three legs. Oh, that's <laughs> such a camp dog. Like my little kitty cat, he's only got three legs as well. And so each one is unique and they're made out, yeah. of, out of wood and, and They're painted. made out of um, milky pine. Uh -huh. um, and they're all made by different artists. Um, there's a whole collective. There's um, five brothers, the Nampanon brothers actually, who are quite famous and they all, they make them. Oh, wow, look at that. So this is from um, Arab mm -hmm. Island, which is right up in the Torres Strait. It's the closest island to Papua New Guinea. Mm -hmm. um, and um, also known as Darnley Island. And again, this is ghost nets. Mm -hmm. So these guys went to Monaco in March this year and had massive exhibition in, with all this kind of thing. Can we walk underneath it? I don't know. Should um, we walk underneath it? Yeah, Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and what's it made of? Again, more netting. Yeah, it's all ghost net. Uh -huh. And it's got obviously a, a, wire, a wire structure. Right, um, to keep it strong. Together. Look at that, see it's all, all this ghost netting and a bit of a, a couple of poles to really solidify it. But phenomenal. And, and as they said, made up in the, in the Thursday Islands. Darnley Island, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And what are these birds? I've seen them before. They're the ones with the red uh, red chest. Yeah, now you're going to They puff out, that. don't is they? It, you know, is they... it a frigate bird? Could be. Look, that your guess is better than mine. It's a frigate bird. But <laughs> yeah, aren't they amazing? But so now people, can, uh, people in Cairns can come through and, and see this Absolutely. from when? Absolutely. It's all when? free. From tomorrow morning mm -hmm. at 9 o'clock we're open. Um, unless you're coming tonight to the opening party mm -hmm. yeah it's all free and then to, on Saturday and Sunday the, the more well the more affordable certainly for me is the art market which is in the next terminal mm -hmm. so that's um that starts on Friday, on Saturday morning at mm -hmm. 10 o'clock Saturday Sunday and last year just was a fantastic opportunity for people to buy presents and buy a little piece of art you know get to meet the artists we can't all go and travel up the Cape and mm -hmm. you know go to Lockhart River and go to all these remote places but for all of them to come down here and be in the one place. They all bring their dancers, there's musicians, so there's a whole entertainment program all weekend, all free. And people can check that out at kites Kites website. Com au. Yeah. There you go, check it out. There is a huge weekend this weekend. There's dancing, as, as Vanessa just said, there's, um, there's the fashion competition tomorrow, and we've got the launch party tonight. So check out Kaif's website, and we'll see you around the festival. Also, quick question, Cairns local government area is broken up into how many divisions? Too slow. <laughs> Correct answer is nine. Now, if you're a bit of a trivia geek, believe it or not, trivia is on tonight down at the Salt House. It's free, it starts at 6.30 p.m. and there's lots of prizes, as well as specials on drinks and $10 food platters for all the players. So for all you trivia geeks, that's where you'll want to be. Or you could try and win $10,000 at the Cairns Brass Bingo tonight. It's on every Thursday night from 7.30 p.m., standard games, jackpot, and a big brass bingo. You can check them out down at 145 Mulgrave Road. And remember, if there's anything else you know about that's happening today or tonight, throw it down in the comments below, right down there. Just click and clack, type a message. That way we can all go out and enjoy what's happening around Cairns today. Now for a look at the weather with my friend Pip. How are you, Pip? Great. Oh, she, she's just as excited as me. It's wonderful. Very well known around town. Pip Miller PR, if you want to check her out. Today in Cairns, cloudy with a chance of rain. A top of 24 and a low of 17. Today's high tide, 2.32 metres at around 7 o'clock. And the low tide, 0.96 metres just after midday. Outstanding work, Pip. I'm very impressed. <laughs> You're a TV star. <laughs> now, before we go, let's look out the doors of the Cairns Cruise Terminal because we can see the sunrise, uh, sort of. You know, it's not quite up yet, but look out that window. This is where the Cairns Indigenous Art Fair is being held. I mean, look at that view. That is what you want when you're doing an art fair. You want a good view and amazing artworks. Check it out tonight and all this weekend down at the Cairns Cruise Liner Terminal.